Welcome back to Woodturner's Journal. I'm Jared Toth, and today I'm going to be making a candle bowl. segmented but with the pattern on the wench you uh, shouldn't be able to it'll look like one piece basically I'm using the same technique that I did in one of my past videos where I made a segmented mug um, it, there's just gonna be some changes uh, in my head this idea seems pretty awesome I don't know we'll see how it comes out maybe uh, maybe it's not but uh, we'll figure it out so I'm starting with a piece of it's uh, 16 inches and I'm gonna cut a uh, five inch uh, boards out of it. So three uh, three segments I'm going to get out of this and then we'll go through. Next I'm going to run it through. I have the blade set at 20 degrees and I'm going to take the first edge off of each board and make it 20 degrees. Next I'm flipping it and I'm going to just cut strips out of each of these boards. This looks pretty good. I got nine pieces and nine pieces at um, 20 inch angles. I mean, I'm sorry, 20 degree angles. Um, so times two, 40 times nine, 360 degrees. We got a nice circle. Um, just so you know, I needed, um, you didn't see it, but I needed more than uh, three boards to do this with. I needed two more. I needed a total of five. So that's because I was doing it an inch and a half. I'm making this a little bit bigger than I originally uh, planned on. So next, um, I'm going to add a decorative part to this and uh, I'll show you that. Okay, next. so what I did next was I straightened the blade and I raised it to about two thirds of the board. So I'm only gonna be putting channels through the board. I then, took five of my panels and I taped them together. I centered it, the blade, and I'm gonna basically run it through a channel. I'll put a channel through the dead center, then I'll come out like a quarter of an inch or so, do it again, flip it this way to get a perfect on the other side as well from the center, and I run it again. I'm gonna do the whole board that way, okay? And then, um, and then the other ones, the four panels that we have left, I've decided that I'm going to run straight up and down, probably just three channels. And I would like to point out, I'm doing the channels on the inside of the board, not the outside, because the inside um, is gonna mainly stay that round uh, shape. And I'm gonna take off more material on the outside. So I think once I take off the outside material, the all the little windows and channels that I've made should poke through. That's at least the plan. We'll see if it works. So here, we're, here we are, let's do this.
Okay, that looks pretty good. Next, I'm going to be running the strips up and down, probably just like I said, like three through uh, the next four panels here. centered a little bit better but I don't know why it's off a hair but I think it's still gonna look really good so next we'll get this glue. alright here we are everyone and here are the five that I have the uh, the basically the the grooves going uh, horizontal and then I have them on the four over here going vertical and it basically has to go this way is what we're gonna do and I think that will look kind of cool and next is to glue them up just like I did with the coffee mug that dry so it's the next day and this is completely dried and now I have it mounted up on my chuck all I want to do is I need to put uh, I want to glue a top and a bottom to this and so I'm using my skew chisel and I'm just gonna basically just make sure I smooth this out and this is completely flat I'm gonna do the other side as well and then uh, that you know make sure I remove all the glue and everything and then I'll glue it on um, and then let it dry for a day so let's do that. All right, here we are. I got the top and the bottom uh, mounted on. And now I just need to round this thing out. So let's do that really fast. So there's little tiny spaces in here so I added CA glue just now to make sure that everything's really tight and next I'm going to start shaping the, the bottom here and the top before I take any more out of here. I want to do that to make sure that um, you know because this is hollowed out basically I want to make sure that it's still strong and it could handle in case I get any catch or anything like that before I start taking it away anymore. So let's do that. I take away any more I'm gonna mount this part to a chuck and I'm gonna drill out the top here and then I'll start finally shaving the rest of this Good. 
back to the outside here. Okay, so this piece broke. I don't know. Must have had a little catch or something. I'm going to continue on though and see. Hopefully that doesn't happen again and I think I could still fix this. So. So I gotta fix that. I don't think that will be that big of a problem though. Well, this is one of the times I'm not a genius. So, um, you know, having these in there long like that, it just wants to tear out. These are so thin. It was a good idea in theory, but um, it, it just didn't want to do it. So what I did was I popped out the other ones and I had zebra wood lying around. And now all I'm doing, I cut them down to size and all I'm doing is gluing these into that spot. So... Let's, uh, let's glue this last one in there. Alright, that's in there. Now I have to let it dry and then clean up all this. All right, here we are. It's had actually a couple days to glue. So now I'm just gonna flatten all this out, smooth it out again, take down these boards. Now I'm just going to trim a little bit on the inside. Not much because this is kind of delicate here, so I only want to take off a little bit. Just round it out just enough. Okay, here we are. I have it uh, mounted back up on the truck and I'm going to take off the tenon that I left on there. I'm just going to use my parting tool to take it off. Now uh, I just sanded this down really fast and now that we have everything all sanded and the tenons off, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to clean it with mineral spirits and I'll uh, put a few coats of tongue oil on it and I'll buff it out and then when we come back it'll be completely finished. Well there it is. Uh, the project's complete and we have a beautiful candle holder with slits in it to let the light shine through. Um, a technique I've never, um, not only have I never done before, but I've actually never seen anyone do anything like that before where you make uh, your, your first cuts and then take away and uh, basically take away material to show the pattern later. I don't know. Um, I'm sure somebody else has done it before. But either way, I want to thank you for watching and, you know, hopefully it gave you an idea uh, of your own to try at home.
And um, to everyone subscribing to my channel, I want to uh, thank everyone sincerely. Um, I'm, I'm, my subscribers are increasing rapidly and uh, my, my channel is gaining in popularity and I want everyone to know I sincerely do appreciate it. Thank you so much. If you keep watching, I will keep making them. Um, so don't forget to subscribe and check out uh, my website, witternersjournal.com. And thank you so much. Thank you.